Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to Endgame of Devil, the luck via landlord style drafting roguelike that I'm very excited to be back to here today. The reason I am so excited is there is a huge, massive new update to the game that adds a new kind of devil lord, which what that means is it's a new set of levels from 0 to 20, but most importantly, completely new units. Every single unit in the entire game, every artifact, every relic that is on this character is gone and replaced with something new. It's basically an entirely different game. Kind of crazy. So in we are going to go to see what this is all about as we fight Frankenstein. So if you've not seen this game before, I'll go over the basics. It's not that tricky. Basically, we have a set of units that when we press attack, they get randomly sorted on the board. They try and kill these guys. Uh, okay, I wish I could. We'll just pick something here in a second. But yeah, so these guys go randomly on the board. Melee units, which you see the sword in the bottom left of the mummy cat, does melee damage. One damage to somebody around them. Ranged will do it from a ranged. Simple as that. If you kill them in time, you don't take damage. If you can't kill them in time, you take damage. Taking three damage, you lose. More or less, we're trying to build a really clean system. So, what do we have here? These are, these are new. I guess we can check these. 50% chance to do combo when attacking. Uh, deal three bullet. <laughs> After five turns, do three bullet. Which is a missile doing a damage. And then self-remove. After eight turns, gain one removal. So we can remove something from our deck. Uh, what the heck? Deal one electric arc per negative electron. There's some wacky stuff going on here. Deal electric arc to all adventurers and then self-remove. Cooldown three, do a jinx. A missile that does a damage. Enemy with less pollution is easier to get an extra one. I don't know what that means until we get pollution, I guess. For the sake of seeing new stuff, generate an energy and lightning. Okay. That actually seems pretty good. I don't know. We'll just kind of have to experiment and see. It's one of those kind of games. Student, after seven turns, generate an inspiration. Okay. Which is... Ooh. Minions gain permanent damage and a refresh. Every turn, do a jinx. Ten turns turn into a deep one. Hmm. I'm going to get the Witch for now. Because it does range damage and we kind of need some help to finish these guys off in time here. Old Mummy. So the, the Mummy still exists, but it actually seems like it might be slightly better. I can't remember. Every five turns gain one attack. One turn self-remove and generate energy. Sure. Okay, that guy almost lived. All adventurers regenerate HP fully and generate three fright and inspiration. What the heck? And then self-remove. Gain a color out of space per accumulated 12 times energy and then self-remove. 12 times your energy? Wait. I have a lot of energy. Energy charger. What the hell? I'll just grab it and I'll see. Mutant beholder. Cooldown 2 deal with radiation. We're just going to have to grab some stuff, man. Give an enemy on the board pollution and repeat once per two inspiration. So pollution is damage taken up and take damage equal to half of current HP if you have four of the debuff. I mean, sure. We know that has some synergy with one of our things. We applied gun. Get another hypno shroom. Jinx. Enemy with less pollution is easier to get an extra one. Huh. So you've been jinxed. You've been jinxed as well. A gnome. Cooldown of 7th turn into a Dwarf Miner or a Dwarf Guard. I love the way that son of a gun looks. Inspiration on removal. 
Do I get to pick where that inspiration goes? The bonus attack? Maybe. That seems not bad. Okay. Deal two electric arc. Turkey does AoE. <laughs> to remove this treasure... Wait. You will gain... A, when you remove this treasure, you will get a lucky cat or removal. There's obviously some translation things here and there. Let's re-roll. What else can we do? Lightning triggers five more times and hits two extra targets. Protect your diamond one time. So that's just like a... You can lose one uh, against one unit. I mean, I guess... I don't have lightning yet. I'll go with the cutting trap because it's safe for now. Corruption or Jinx deals damage plus two to nearby enemies. So we do have Jinx. So I'll say sure. So there's the cool end of that, which means we probably don't get anything. When removed, gain a corpse. Oh, this is terror. Oh, that is terrifying. Oh, that is terrifying. Lightning Charger 2. What on earth? Charge has a 40% chance to get a permanent plus one attack if you did not do an attack this turn. That seems like a good start. Like, if it's not in melee range, it has a chance to gain permanent attack damage. Cooldown 4, do an explosion to all nearby adventurers and then remove self. Just uh, one damage can crit, 50% chance of doing extra damage. Every four turns, gain a yellow sign, which is a self-remove. Wait, self-remove, and then a minion on the board gains a permanent attack. I mean, yeah, sure. All right. We need to get some scaling going. I don't think that this is, like, super reliable scaling yet. Every 12 turns, a minion on the board. All minions on the board get one attack. That's pretty interesting for a common. It's a huge cooldown, so you'd need something to help with that. Look at the skeleton crow for now. In 10 turns, turn into a deep one. I don't feel like I need it. Do a corruption to nearby adventures. This buffs up corruption too, right? Yes. Sure. Doesn't seem great though. But we're we're scaling fine, I guess. Because it is getting easier. 80% chance to increase attack permanently when game when oh oh charge isn't permanent 40% chance to gain a permanent oh it's just saying that 40% goes up to 80% gotcha to remove this treasure there's some translation stuff that wasn't even in the game before but I'm thinking it means when you remove this get 10 energy so brass knuckles seems nice Cooldown 4, generate an energy and a lightning. I should have gotten the, the lightning. Let's see. I'm going to need 12 energy. If I want to do anything with that. Damage plus four on the first attack. I'll get Corruption and Jinx damage up. Should hopefully be something. Inspiration Charger 3. This minion's ability is triggered after Inspiration activates three times. Okay. Let a Bomb Freak or Chainsaw Freak or Gun Freak Gain strength. And I'm going to skip for now. Okay, so this... We do have enough lightning that this could turn into a bomb freak or chainsaw freak, I assume. That's something. That's terrifying. I'll do it. 
we got to be careful not to get too many things that our board completely fills up with uh, trash, basically, is the thing. Self-remove, generate three energy. Sure. Oh, that when that person got killed, they uh, they did a little something extra to us. 50% chance to get an extra option when recruiting. Every turn, do two electric arc. There's our energy, if we want it. Combo and charge. Deal an extra attack after the initial. And we have the charge, and it's going to potentially get extra. Yeah, I was right. So it's self-removed. We got color out of space. When after... Every time energy is activated five times, explode all adventures, doing five damage to them and to everyone nearby. Very interesting. That seems like it would be like an every five turns. Cooldown 2, let all old mummy or mummy warriors attack. So they'll just like attack something nearby. Again. That seems really, really good for that kind of a build. Clockwork Soldier, obviously this is going to be some kind of synergy thing. I'm going to say no to that since I don't have that. Whoop. Synergy. Inspiration Charger 4, deal damage to all, to the adventurer equal to its current HP. What the heck? I mean, that's a legendary that seems busted, but we've got a whole bunch of trash, though. We're going to need to trim some stuff down. Do a corruption per skeleton rat nearby when attacking. I'm going to skip here for the first time. And we'll remove the book. We've generated one inspiration. Who got it? It was you? Ignition. Each ignition deals damage equal to 2% of the target's max HP at the start. Ooh. Percentage HP in this game is very good. We got the research already. I'll get another test subject, though. Self-remove. A random minion gets an extra. So you actually went down to zero from some one of these guys. They all have their own passive kind of unique things as well. HP plus two for all adventures at the start of the turn. Damage taken down from undead. The good news is I don't have, like, a super cohesive type of synergy thing here. Do a corruption per 10 removal. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Skeleton Crow, we got a bunch of them. Repeat once per two inspiration. I mean... Seems like I need to find more inspiration, I guess. It's the big thing I'm noticing. You're up to five. I feel like I could get rid of the mummy cat at this point. Because we're going to be through with this zone shortly. Yeah. And you have to remove them on... Ooh. Ooh. Energy triggers one more time, but damage minus one. That's part of something. Sorry, there's just so much interesting things going on here. Who had the energy triggers? Anyone have an energy trigger? An energy trigger? You do. I think that could be fine. It says this time, but I think it means every time. All nature minions do combo, so they attack twice. Cooldown. Every two turns, gain one mineral. Which is more energy. It's a hamster mine. I'll, I'll say sure. I'll lean into, like, energy charging if I can find it. Skull killer, I have that 
scaling thing, we're probably good to go still for a bit. We're going to want to remove some stuff, though. Oh, man. Energy Charger 1, Deal 1, Radiation or Explosion? That seems... Machine Greymon, wait. <laughs> okay. That seems really good. We definitely need to remove some stuff. I'm going to get rid of you as good as that is. I think I need to keep this for the energy generation. Maybe I don't care about the test subject. I kind of regret that. Stab. I'm going to get rid of this skull killer too. Can we explode them more than once per turn? Hmm. Generate an energy and a lightning. Deal one corruption if there's only one zombie groom on the board, presumably. So you're the... Oh, boy. You're the only one left? Yeah, you reduced my attack. Costs two removal at most... And do two explosion per removal cost at the start of the turn. Huh. 35% chance to generate an explosion whenever ignition deals damage. I don't have ignition. I don't think I want to do that right now. It sounds like it uses removal to do explosions. Remove this treasure to recruit one minion and two copies of it. I'll go with that for now. Every four energy charge, gain an inspiration. Okay. We've got an elite. No music change for the mini boss. All bears get two HP at the start of the turn. A bit concerning. Get a random epic minion and self remove. I'm going to skip. We definitely got to remove something. I feel like we could probably. So you're at four. You seem useful. Corruption or jinx? I think we could probably end up going away from that. Eh. One damage in an AoE is fine. I'm going to regret that one. 20, there's one, two, three, four, five, so technically you probably shouldn't go for any more. Let's get the gambler's thumb. So we whatever we take, we're gonna get multiple copies of, so we're gonna really want it to be good. Ooh. Every two energy charged deal of radiation. And let the target hit get an ignition. Alright, that's it. We'll do it. We're going to pivot out of these. Those have zero attack anyways right now. Alright, weird thing here. Lots of energy and like ignition. Energy triggers an additional time. But damage does even less. It's fine. We kind of want it to be doing four triggers a turn, if that's possible. I don't even know if it is. It seems like it's... When it triggers multiple times, it doesn't actually. Damage dealt, plus one by electric arc, radiation, corruption, or explosion. And plus two in even waves. Fifty percent chance to generate an inspiration accelerate, which speeds up cooldowns or fright. If any cooldown ability was generated, I do feel like the lens it helps us so much. Attack plus one permanently per nearby adventure or minion. I feel like I kind of have to have that one. 
And we're gonna have to remove some stuff. Yeah, that did 114 damage. I don't think I can take any more glimmers. All right. 18. We got some empties there, but still. Oh, boy, Lord. Oh, my Lord. Damage up plus three from radiation. Yeah, we have radiation. After each attack, the attack powers have. If the attack is greater than one. This is a good thing to just, like, get and then get rid of. All adventures gain a pollution and take three damage. Huh. Generate and accelerate and an extra one for Yith on the board. Accelerate speeds up cooldowns, of which we have a decent amount. Or at the very least, the Klein bottle is kind of like a the crux of our build here in a way. So I'll say sure. Accelerate just, yeah, speeding that stuff up. We could probably ditch this guy at this point. As much as he has been helpful. Cool on seven, generated inspiration. It's too slow. Extra chance to gain legendary and epic minions. Could obviously be fun. I'll get another Klein bottle, which means I really got to go for... I gotta remove some stuff. This guy does 14 damage. Yeah. He's pretty reliably up there. We have this weird just engine that we're building right now. We've really built a crazy engine. Sure. Minerals. It's just a one-time thing. We generate a little bit more energy. Why not? Up to seven there. Each ignition deals extra damage. So we have... Who does ignition? Radiation does ignition. So that means they'll lose more percentage of their max health. Machine Greymon. Oh my lord. What on earth just happened? take it. I'll take it. We have so many refreshes. My big question is, does Glimmer... If energy triggers an additional time, it should... work. That we get to proc these things multiple times, yeah? Remove all of your Glimmers and gain an equal amount of Crystal Elementals? Oh, that's just... It is better, but it's also a little bit tricky, because we need to get even more energy generation then. That's not bad, but... I can't do this. As much as I want to. I need to. I need more energy. Generate, one accelerate, energy, and lightning. That's very good. We've created a very weird system here, but it's working. 20. Kind of overflowing a bit. I might need to get rid of the Yith. The Explode's helpful. Alright, in two turns, that is gonna turn all those... Ooh! When that procs, when that procs, 65 damage, don't mind if I do. Each ignition does 2% of their max health at the turn start. So they are going to be taking 4% of their max health at turn start. That's happening up there. Damage dealt plus 1 from undead minions. 
I'm excited to just see all this stuff. That poor man. We're going to just grab the book to remove it, more or less. Deal one radiation per inorganic minion on the board. I have a lot of inorganic. That's this test tube looking thing. So there's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah. That's pretty good. We have so many refreshes. I don't even know what to freaking do with them. Let's remove some. We'll get the monster books and remove them. Oh my god. Damage plus two dealt by lightning and plus one by electric arc. It's not bad, like, at all, but I just... Too many fingers, too many pies. Get rid of the book, get some inspiration, get rid of the book, get some inspiration. Damage plus one dealt from inorganic minions. I'll try it, because I think that it also works on their kind of passives. I'm going to ditch Yith, even though I think it's good. I think we are... Oh God, I also feel like I should even ditch you, which is crazy, because you got 18, but... I think we have a delicate, like, system that we're trying to generate here. Damage dealt plus one dealt by energy, 35% chance to get a new one whenever you consume one. That's so good. We might be moving on to our final level, if I remember correctly. So let's just look. I mean, another one of those seems great. No, what is the final level? 15? Okay, yeah, getting two of those is pretty good. These guys are just basically garbage that was added to my deck as kind of an intentional punishment. <laughs> Surely there's something here that shouldn't be here. I mean, the Bone Dragon's not bad. You're doing 24 damage, because he does the 12 twice. How we still have energy is from before is crazy. It makes sense for us to keep it now. Two electric arc. Generate an explosion when ignition deals damage. We do have ignition now. Minerals is not bad, but I kind of just want to see if we can find some new stuff. The hell? Generate one what? Oh, Fright. It should be on there, but it's not. Charge AoE is really good. Charge, like, if we would have gotten this a long time ago, it would have been really, 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 really strong. Cooldown 2, do 4 radiation. Charge combo AoE. That's so good. It's so good. It means he charges up over time, he does AoE damage, and he does it twice. It's so good that we don't need it. At this point, because it's like a long-term scaling thing. Test subject. The mechanical eye is good. Like, there's a lot of really good stuff, but I just... Let inspiration trigger two more times, and its removal brings to inspiration? I'm just gonna get rid of all this stuff that's incidental to our, like... Our system. Okay, did I have this color? I did have this color. Reel in. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Probably get some kind of a fish. Yeah, I'm just I'm looking at everything. Probably would have been that guy actually that we get. Deal one an extra damage per every two energy while attacking. That's actually really good. Get another one. These probably aren't going to proc in time at this point. So let's just remove them. 
three turns away. Probably not happening. Lol. This is worse than garbage. It actually removes stuff from... And I'm not, that's not me being mean. That's just saying, like, literally, it is worse than not having something. All right, that was a crazy one. Do I understand everything that happened? No. This is a wild set. You definitely are supposed to play that first set to kind of start to understand it. Because this gets crazy. I'm assuming it's the same ascension. Like, as far as these. Perhaps. Hard to say. Uh, but yeah. Either way, this is a completely crazy thing. What a wild update. Definitely some translation stuff that I hope gets added over, uh, you know, the course of time a little bit here. It's there's, And that's saying something that the translation's a little bit worse than this one, because this already had some pretty noticeable issues. But there's a lot of complex mechanics going on in this one as well. Like, this is the step up. Uh, as far as I'm aware, you unlock this boss by beating level 10 of Barbatos. So... I can definitely tell. At first I saw that and I was like, oh, that seems like a little bit late to unlock this. But now I'm like, I get it. This stuff is is much more confusing and uh, trickier to build with. But it also seems like it can do some really, really wild stuff. Alas, alas, though, that is that. That's going to do it for today. Whether or not we cover more or not, I'm not entirely sure right now. Let me know in the form of a comment down below. Do you want to see more of this? you want to see more builds, more wackiness, all that kind of stuff we got in the gallery here? I mean, yeah, there's a lot of stuff. But there's going to be more added. At least that's what uh, the devs said. I think that... Because there's a few more pieces in this first set and a few more upgrades. Uh, but the intent is to add more to this set. Alas, alas, though. Like I said, that is that. That's going to do it for today. If you're interested in Roblox and more, especially if you like auto battlers, drafting games, this is a 100% probably one of the best channels on YouTube for you to check out. I cover all kinds of stuff in those genres. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.